Welcome to my Nature Diaries. Well, today I thought I would talk a little bit about laying out my Nature Diary. And first of all, as you can see, I like to go through my photos. And for this layout, I decided to do a little landscape, a little vignette of one of the pictures that I took. And I saw like, and you saw in the previous video clip, this picture or video clip of the two yellow flowers along with the white one against a log. So I decided that would look really nice as a landscape on the opposing page of my nature journal. So I went ahead and did it. Um, but before we get there, if you haven't watched last week's, there is last week's video. And that's how this little picture turned out. And I really like how it looks. And I went ahead and just, um, painted it because it did take me quite a while. I was trying to figure out how to work with the paper and yeah, it just took me a little while to, to add the layers to it. So as you can see, we're moving on to the right side and I'm going to be featuring this yellow speckled trout lily and I'm going to be putting in a text box. I have to apologize for the footage. I had the wrong setting on my camera, so I do apologize for that. It will clear up a little bit. In a few minutes but I wanted to just go ahead and just talk about this particular wildflower it's so interesting because it takes five to seven years for this flower to appear from seed and that's just so amazing to me and I was shocked I guess when I um, was reading more information about what the flower was and I think that's one of the things that's really fun about a nature diary or journal is not only finding something, but then understanding and appreciating everything that is um, all the information about the actual plant or flower. I wanted to also emphasize the leaves. Again, it's called a yellow trout lily um, and the trout part comes from the, the speckles on the leaves and evidently somebody saw it a long time ago and thought, hmm, this looks like a brook trout or a river trout or whatever, rainbow, I'm not sure. But they identified the flower from the markings on there. So I decided to make the speckled um, spots or whatever on the leaves a little bit more obvious than they are on the real plant. So I used burnt sienna. And that green, I'm gonna darken it, will be, um, I believe it's a sap green, maybe a little bit of a mix with um, another green in there, but I think it's mostly sap green. And I wanted to super emphasize the leaves because again, the name of the plant is all about the leaves and that will help me identify it or whoever else reads this nature journal, they'll be able to identify it hopefully from the illustration. Right, all done. Now I'm gonna make the text box for, um, so the background for my um, writing. And I'm, I decided to use a yellow ochre. I did do some test swatches of different colors earlier. And that's the color I thought would look the best because I'm gonna be using a brown ink. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just lay that in. I really like this kind of layout. I like the idea of highlighting the text bo box or making a text box. And I think it's important when you're trying to figure out a layout, what feels comfortable to look at. And having the landscape little picture on the left gives your eye a place to start looking because you look from the left to the right. This is the ink I'm using. It's a super black ink. And I'm gonna be actually um, drawing in the flower and just doing an outline on it. And I usually like to ink it after I paint it just to make sure that I don't get any bleeding or transfer when I'm using watercolors. This is supposed to be a waterproof ink, but I haven't really tested it to make sure that it is. And I'm not always the most patient, so I usually do paint it first.
Just want to take a moment. If you are not subscribed, I would really love to have you join us in this um, exploration of my nature diaries. I've want to fill this whole book with all my different entries. I'm really excited about it. So please hit that subscribe button. And also let me know, are you interested in starting a nature journal? And if so, tell me what it would be about, because I think it's really interesting to share ideas and different thoughts about how um, you want to journal. just going to be adding in as you can see a few little details and I think these little details are really what helps set off the illustration when you put those little hash lines it does really help to define the curve of the petals and that's one of the reasons I enjoy making those in this particular illustration all right I am using a new pen Yes, another new pen, but this one was a Christmas gift and for my husband and the first time I'm using it, it's Kurotaki. I don't, I'm, it's a German company. I don't know why I'm saying it that way, but probably not saying it right. But anyway, and with it, I'm using a matching um, brown ink and I thought the brown again would look really nice against that yellow ochre background. When I journal something in my diary, I obviously include information about the plant because I think that that is so fascinating. But I also um, like to put in information or just thoughts about, you know, what the weather was like or what I was doing or what kind of hike and, and especially how I felt when I saw the flowers. Because this was a big deal that day. Uh, we intentionally went out to look actually for Jack in the Pulpit flowers, which is another little local wildflower and we didn't see them but we really hit the jackpot with so many other ones and my brother one of my brothers is a naturalist and he identified actually the white flower that you see on the left because uh, I, I did remember that this was a trout lily and I thought that was pretty good <laughs> that I remembered it because that's one of the reasons too I thought it would be so nice to have a little nature diary journal One of the things that I do is I do use a ruler to put in lines. You can't see them in the video, but they are there. So my writing isn't that um, straight across. And I would highly suggest it. Just put it in with light pencil and a ruler, and that will help you keep everything looking neat and consistent. Well, there you go. It turned out I feel really well. I'm really pleased with it and I really like the layout. I think the layout feels like a book and it was a really fun project to do as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. And again, please feel free to subscribe. I would love to have you follow along and be a part of my nature diary. Um, this is a diary that I'm sharing with everyone. So would love to have you um, be a part of it again too. All right, well, another entry, another day, and we are finished with this one, but please make sure you join me for the next time that we come together and journal something beautiful that we find in nature. So until then, take care. Bye.